Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, this is a multi-part series, just refreshing the pattern design software. Um, right now we're gonna focus on the Create tab. Um, this is for a specific group of students. Um, so if you happen to come across this video on YouTube and I'm showing something that is different from how your professor shows it, please just be advised that I may do things slightly differently than they will do them. So we're gonna go ahead, just start over here. These are all the point functions. We've got point, drill, mark, and multiple. Um, multiple we used quite a bit to add, um, let's say let's add points to a line. We did that to like add marks for buttons or for hooks. So I'm gonna add multiple to the sleeve line right here. I've got it basically selected that both the front and the back or the start and the end will get a mark. I'm doing drill points. I'm going to go ahead, it's telling me to select the line to receive the points, selecting the line. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask me how many do I want, so I'm going to do 12. I hit OK, and then my drill marks are going to go ahead and appear right there. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Um, we did not work with notches in class, so when you're giving me your pattern, you can go ahead and hand um, write in your notches, or just use whatever notches are um, are on the pattern themselves. All right, two point line and two point curve. We use this guy quite a bit. So two point line is basically just the function to create a two point line wherever you should need it. So let's click and click. And we use this function quite a bit when we're splitting pattern pieces. So if you wanna split on the line, you're gonna use two point line to do that first. And then say, we wanna go ahead and do two point curve. Say I wanted to change this um, from a straight line to a curved line. Go ahead, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna click here. And then it's gonna give me this curve to kind of work with, okay? So kind of up to you how far out you'd like it curved. You lay your line down there, and then you would go back to modify, and you would use a swap tool to go ahead and swap those two lines out. Okay. Um, annotation. Annotation is where you're going to make sure you put in all the information about your pattern piece, your name, the pattern, like basically the model name, the pattern as a whole, what that pattern piece is. So is it a sleeve? Is it a bodice front? Is it a bodice back? Um, how many do you cut? Do you cut two? Do you cut four? Do you cut just in the fabric? Do you cut your interfacing? All that information is going to go onto your pattern piece with the annotation tool. Trace. Trace is one of those things that we could use to do a facing um, or to trace a part of a pattern piece if you should need it. So just remember that we have to go in a clockwise direction or else the program kind of freaks out. So let's internalize this. I honestly don't know why on my computer it's, it's really giving me a hard time with the trace function. Yeah. But just a reminder, that's what Trace does. It should work on the school ones, but for some reason on my laptop, it's giving me a really hard time. So I'm just going to kind of move on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete this piece for a moment. And I want to go ahead and remind you guys of what sort of um, pieces we can create in the create tab, if you will. So for example, you can create a skirt. I was playing with this earlier. So I already have the dimensions for the doll plugged in. Um, the doll waist was 12 inches. I wanted the skirt to be four inches long. Um, so we plug that information in over here and I just hit okay and it drops me a skirt. Now, um, if I want to add my seam allowance to this, I go to Advanced, I click on Define, it's going to say Select Lines or Pieces, I want it around this whole piece, and we usually use 0.5, um, I'm going to do point, I'm going to do point 0.5, just to make it simple, but for a doll outfit, 0.5 might be a little bit too big, might be a little bulky, but we'll do 0.5 for the sake of brevity here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the Create tab, I'm just going to go ahead. Move this guy over here. Okay. Um, we can also create sleeves. Here we go. 
Um, and then we would just enter all of our information that we need for our sleeve in here. So again, you could either A, create a sleeve using the doll measurements, or you could use one of the sleeves from the blocks that we've used or from Data90 and scale it down. It's kind of up to you. Okay, we can also um, extract a piece, which is trace and merge section. So that's another way to create a facing. We can create a collar. Oh, there's another way to create a facing as well. Um, we can create a ruffle here. So lots of different things that we can use here to create pieces and create some kind of basics. The only thing that this does not create, which I really wish it did, was a basic bodice front and back. Um, so you're going to have to use our, our um, adult size pieces for that. Okay, and that's about it for the Create tab.